My name is Jade Murderbush, and I'm here to talk to you about car safety. In the past couple months, I've had several friends in serious car accidents, um, all on varying levels. Uh, some lucked out more than others. Um, if you notice, this is the exit where you get off your house. Don't actually know why I chose it. But, um, okay. So the speed limit in Virginia is officially 70 miles per hour. Virginia has secondary seatbelt laws, which means unlike primary seatbelt laws where law enforcement can arrest you for, uh, for simply not having your seatbelt on, uh, secondary seatbelt laws mean that you can only be arrested for not wearing your seatbelt if you're doing something else like talking on the phone or drinking and driving they're not going to arrest you for anything. Um, and the National Traffic Safety Administration has reported that seatbelts saved more than 75,000 lives from 2004 to 2008, and that's quite a bit of lives. Uh, and I think you should wear a seatbelt because of inertia. The law of inertia states that, here we go. The law of inertia states that, um, let's just say 70 miles per hour, um, You'll be when you go through the windshield when you're not wearing a seatbelt, you're going to be going three times less. So you're continuing that at 210 miles per hour. So you're going to be hitting the pavement at that speed. Okay. Here are some friends of mine that were in a car accident. Uh, they were driving the speed limit. We were. Uh, when the car crashed, the car was totaled. And, but they are fine because they are wearing their seatbelts. Here's another friend of mine. Uh, she was in a car that was driving over the speed limit. The car was totaled. There were no seat belts. There were major injuries such as brain trauma, internal bleeding, and broken bones, as you can see. And that's the car over there on the right. There's really not a front of the car anymore. Uh, she went through the windshield because she wasn't wearing her seat belt. She's actually quite lucky she wasn't brain damaged, as many people are. Uh, part of the issue with not wearing your seat belt is you can suffer from brain damage, you can end up with anemia because of your brain damage, uh, lots of nutritional issues, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder is um, like having flashbacks or emotional difficulties after an accident, and it's actually quite common. Um, as defined, it's a traumatic incident. So I think a car accident would qualify as a traumatic incident. There are people against the issue of seatbelts, believe it or not. Um, they believe it is their right to choose to wear a seatbelt, um, and they also believe that seatbelts can prove to be harmful. Uh, and there are some valid points there. Uh, in some accidents, seatbelts have injured the person. Uh, however, there are a lot more people that are safe because of seatbelts rather than not wearing them. Uh, wearing a seatbelt is sort of like having a warranty on your computer. It's, I mean, you don't always need it, but it's sure nice to have when everything's breaking down at the wrong moment. Um, <coughs> and I'd much rather have cuts on my arms than be brain damaged. So here's what we can do. I think, as a community, we should commission Ayad Akhtar, and if you don't remember, he was the person who wrote Disgrace. Uh, and I know that sounds weird, because that was about race, but I really like the way he writes things. Uh, the way he can turn an issue upside down. I think he'd be able to write a play about the victim from a car accident, like dealing with the trauma after and the emotional issues. Uh, we need to encourage seatbelt use. I know you're thinking, oh, I'm just driving on the street, or I'm just driving to Mawa. Well, you need to wear a seatbelt because you don't know what you can hit. There could be a wild deer. <coughs> I saw a deer the other day, and I didn't know they were around here. And you can go flying through your windshield. Um, please drive within the speed limit. It's a lot higher here than what some of us are used to. Uh, 70 miles per hour, kind of excessive. Uh, but uh, if you wear a seatbelt, you should be okay. Uh, and here we're excited. Thank you.